obviously today we are going I'm going to show you how to save your uh, the sound effect you want from findsounds.com which is a very good website to get sound effects from so let's go into the address bar and type in www.findsounds.com not fine sounds find sounds right here see find sounds and uh let's do a laugh and as you can see let's just enlarge this nope <laughs> all right all right um we got a few different ones here this is on tripod right now so i can't move it um all right let's move this back and all right this says evil laugh, and that one is evil laugh, and you just click on this thing right here, and this is how to do it with Windows XP without having to do, like, <laughs> save source. Alright, that was the laugh, that was kind of creepy, but it's an evil laugh, so, um, okay, we can, alright. Um, th you have to do this with Windows Media Player and QuickTime. Uh, you can download QuickTime from, I oh, like, along with iTunes if you want or whatever. Alright, so you right-click it and you select Copy right there. And you just minimize that. Let's zoom in. Alright, um... Now you hit start and go to all programs if that's what you do, but I don't do that and I go to Windows Media Player which is right here and just go to now playing and obviously you'll see a blank screen. Go to the top right corner right here, right click that little symbol and then it'll say file view play tools help and show classic menus go to file and then the bottom one the second to top one right here where it says open url you can't read that but um all right you select that just backspace whatever um and this little thing will pop up now what you do is you paste it and then you select OK <laughs> and it'll be on a loop now um, you could just stop it unless you have it off of a uh, loop alright now you right click the top right again top left again and go to file then select save as it'll like say something dumb you could change the name to whatever you want well right here we'll do evil laugh but we're not gonna save it because that's just a little creepy um and after you save it wherever um you can go to windows movie maker and it like converted the file or whatever or maybe it didn't, I don't know, but then you go to import audio or music right here and right here we're at sound effects these are all my sound effects and right here let's do suspense jaws and we'll put it in the audio slash music in the timeline right down there and we hit the play button that is our sound and um then uh you add whatever and like right here from my other video i put it right here and oh no he's sweating oh he's so scared okay um then 
when you're done. If you didn't know this, because I didn't know this for a while, I was like really mad. But don't, when you want to put a video on YouTube when you're done, don't save the project file and then just like try to upload, uh, don't try to upload the project file onto YouTube because that won't work. You have to select file on top left corner and then right here under save project as right here it says save movie file select that and um uh my computer that's what i do other things recordable cd email the web and dv camera but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to do computer you name your file blah blah, blah spam uh you select where you're saving it. I always save it in my videos. Then I do next. File name has not been entered because I didn't enter name. Okay, let's just do movie. And then uh, best quality for playback. I suggest you just do that because I don't know how bad it would be if you didn't. But um, just do best quality. And if you're only going to upload your video onto YouTube, um, a after you upload it, and you don't you think you might not want to like use it anymore just hit just um after you upload it to youtube just delete it out of um your uh well anyway if i selected like next it would just start saving well anyway um no if if you want to like make room for your memory like your computer is like slowing down or anything Eh, Merry Christmas YouTube. Um, just go to My Documents after you hit Start, and then go wherever you saved it. Right here, I saved it. And just delete any video that you don't need anymore. So, you make room for memory. Stupid phone. Alright, let's get this over with. Then, um, then you go to... Then you go to um, the recycle bin, which is usually at everyone's desktop, and you open that up, and uh, that will pop up, and uh, it'll show all the files that you deleted over time. And if you have a bunch of files that you want to delete out of um, the recycle bin, just hold it, uh, just right, uh, just left click it and wherever you want and then bring it around hold on to it and just drag it up and then it'll like select all the videos that you waved over and then right click it and then delete it'll delete all of them that is way faster I just recently found that out and that's it okay thanks for watching and Merry Christmas